Apple granted patents for interchangeable lenses and even an iPen stylus. Windows Phone 8.1 might see its debut along with a couple of Nokia devices at MWC. And even though Apple sold a staggering amount of iPhones and iPads, that did not include the iPhone 5C. I'm Jaime Rivera, and can you imagine a world with interchangeable smartphones for every occasion? I know I do. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Sony has just launched a tablet mount for their QX10 and QX100 interchangeable lenses for smartphones to make them now tablet compatible. This is really interesting. This is just the mount that only allows you to use these lenses on a tablet, which obviously allows you to choose different types of tablets. But then again, it makes you wonder, I mean, if these lenses were really uncomfortable to use on Sony smartphones, can you imagine how uncomfortable that will be on a tablet? Leave us a comment down below. Would you buy this? Would you use these interchangeable lenses on a tablet? Now let's talk about BlackBerry for all 10 of you BlackBerry users in the world that are left. The company has just announced and launched update 10.2.1, but this is not just the dot one update. It's actually quite significant. For example, you can now pinch to zoom in the BlackBerry Hub and get more details on your messages. You can also unlock your phone with a photo, which is really cool. And aside from that, you are supposed to also get better battery life. And I don't plan to pull out my Z10 to try that out, but leave us a comment down below if you see any significant differences. Links in the description for more details on the update as well. Now let's talk about Nokia as unnamed but trusted sources say that the company is planning something big for MWC. Apparently the company is planning to revamp their whole smartphone lineup, which is actually quite big, but with Windows Phone 8.1 as the operating system for these phones, meaning we get new phones for everything with Windows Phone 8.1. So we are expecting for this debut and hey, Microsoft does a big fanfare every time at MWC. They even rent a full hotel for this. So uh, this could be cool. Let's just see if it actually is as cool as we think it'll be. Now let's talk about Apple as the company's quarter results are in and they keep breaking records. They're up 51 million iPhones sold in a quarter compared to last quarter with 47. And then they're also up 26 million iPads compared to 22, which is great. But Tim Cook was very blunt about the fact that the iPhone 5C disappointed according to him. It wasn't as popular as expected. And I wonder what exactly were they expecting where the difference from the 5S to the 5C was just hundred bucks. A lot of people were just like, hey, why not just get the 5S? And I'm sure that's what they did. So, hey, cool numbers, but again, their budget-minded mentality uh, needs to get better. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Apple has just been granted three patents that are kind of significant. First of all, because two of them focus on interchangeable lenses for smartphone cameras, which is the iPhone. And uh, the way these are better is because these are apparently magnetic compared to what we see right now from Sony and the rumors from HTC. So this is quite cool. But even more interesting is the fact that Apple was also granted the iPen stylus, which would be better according to Apple because it detects your orientation when you hold the stylus. So apparently this will be more accurate than what we currently get with the S Pen and on Windows 8. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Do you feel that styluses on, for example, Windows 8 or the Galaxy Note lineup should get smarter? Uh, in my particular case, I'm not I don't necessarily feel that they should be smarter, just they should feel more natural. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.